Hello, my YouTube family. When I tell you I couldn't, I could not, could not wait to jet out of there today. There was a woman who came in at around, I don't know if it was a quarter to four or a quarter after four. It was around the four o'clock hour. She needed to speak to my supervisor. She needed to speak to my supervisor now. I said, what is it about? And then she gave me a laundry list of everything that it was about. So I had to get things straight because she was all over the place. She was like all over. You could obviously tell. It took a while, but you could obviously tell after. Well, it wasn't obvious. You could tell that this is a troubled individual. And she's got just way too much on her plate. Like she's troubled. All I could get out of it was that she takes care of her mother. And they're jipping her from paychecks. They're jipping her aid from paychecks. And she needs an explanation and this, that, and the other. So I had to finally boil it down to the specifics because she was all over the globe. She was all over the globe. So I went into my suit. I didn't even call my supervisor. I went into my supervisor's office. I said, there's so-and-so at the reception and she wants to talk to you about, and then I went through the list and she said, um, okay, I'll, I'll handle it. I'll get so-and-so to take care of it. Now, who is so-and-so, you might ask? Um, what, what do I normally call her? <sighs> Miss Prissy? There we go. I knew the name would come back. Miss Prissy. I'll get Miss Prissy to handle it. When I tell you my supervisor, there are certain situations that she just does not want to be bothered with. I guess this was one of them. This woman, when she finally saw Miss Prissy, she gave Miss Prissy the ins, the outs, the aroundabouts. I mean, this, and Miss Prissy was just standing there, hand on hip, attitude and everything. She was going on and now here I am. I'm trying to finish this project that my supervisor has me and a whole other people doing, but it consists of me being on the phone. I can't be on the phone if this woman is talking loud and she was rat a tat tatting, not coming up for air at all. When I tell you, it went from, I think a quarter to four to four o'clock to 4.15, by 4.15, no, by about 4.20, 4.25, somewhere around there, I called, I called Alpha. I said, um, can you cover, cover me? I need to go to um, the ladies' room. I didn't bother to look at Miss Prissy. I didn't look at her. I didn't give her anything. I didn't give her. But if you can come to the office to come to work, with an off-the-shoulder shirt. I, I, I can't say anymore. Because if you could get away with that, quote-unquote, business attire, I didn't realize a one-sided off-the-shoulder shirt was, was business attire. Hand on hip, attitude for, attitude for miles. I went to the ladies' room. I specifically stayed there for about a good 7 to 10 and then I came out and I saw Alpha's face and I said, oh, thank you very much. Because mm -hmm. I know she got an earful. This woman, when I left, she was rat a tat tat -ing. I came back, she was still. This woman never came up for air. When um, my supervisor realized that her precious Miss Prissy was being trapped by this woman, she came out, she opened the door and she said, um, could I, could you come in here for a minute, please? 
and she had to leave. Miss Prissy left. This woman is still talking. Like, I don't know who she's talking to because she's sitting in the reception area and she's not facing anybody, but she's going off. I turned, I was at my, I, I, I cut my head down. I didn't want to make any sudden moves. I was shuffling papers, this, this, and the other. Then for about maybe five minutes later, here come Miss Prissy standing just at the door. She just opened the door and she told the woman, okay, well, um, somebody will call you tomorrow and this, 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 somebody will call you tomorrow. This woman said, okay, but let me tell you about such and such. And then she went off again. And Miss Prissy said, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah, somebody will get back to you. Somebody will definitely get back to you tomorrow. Then the woman started to talk, and then she now she's starting to cry. I I kind of she had me at the, the heartstrings then because you could tell she had a lot to vomit out, and it was just it she couldn't just take she couldn't take it anymore. So she started to cry, but she she held back. But she started to cry, she held back, and finally, finally, like it about. 10 to 5, 10 to 5, well, I had to be a little bit closer to 5 o'clock than that, maybe 5 to 5, she finally up and walked over, but she, before she left, she gave me a prayer card, here you go, this is for you, and I said, oh, thank you very much, I, I took it, I put it in my desk, and then she walked out. Hunty, from that time to when it was time to leave, I just counted the minutes, gathered my belongings, and at 5.00, I booked on out of there. Mind you, I did want to stay a little bit later because I have to finish this damn project. Thankfully, it's just Wednesday. There's tomorrow, and apparently, I think the, the project's going to be ending on Friday and not tomorrow. But all day, I was on the phone. All the damn day, I was on the phone. Let me stop it there and let us just do lips of the day. I just had to get that off my chest because just when I thought, okay, we're almost at the finish line, I can make these phone calls, I can make a dent, and then I can keep it pushing. Surprise, surprise. So I have done a lip look on this before. It's been a minute. Not a nude, people. Not a nude. I told you. I, you know, on and off, people. On and off. All depends on what I'm wearing. A nice, not a cobalt blue, but a nice deep, deep blue. And, of course, a nice red lip. So let us start off with the liner. And the liner is a Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Bordeaux. Uh, line. Anfield is an oldie but a goodie. Um, this is a, is this a L'Oreal? I think it is a L'Oreal. Hold on. Yep. L'Oreal Color Juice Stick. In number 415, Cherry Freeze. I have done a lip look on this before. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what Cherry Freeze looks like. There it is. Nice and glossy and juicy and yumalicious. And this is what Cherry Freeze looks like in all its juicy glossiness. Mm. It's a gloss stick, really, basically. But of course, being a gloss lipstick, it dries out and it dries your lips. Like you can tell when the, the shine is over and done with, it kind of leaves your lips really, really dry. I don't know what it is about the formula of gloss sticks. Like I said before, I've, I've done a pretty good amount of glossy lipsticks before and I say the same thing the, the the shine is fantastic which is why I really like glossy lipsticks 
But the payoff is that you are going to wind up with some dry ass lips. I mean, the shine fades. You, it leaves you with a nice faded color, this color, minus the shine. Not a matte look, but it just the, the shine just disappears. But when the shine disappears, so does the moisture. And you're left with dry lips. So if you're willing to, you know, deal with the payoff, you have a nice glossy lip from a lipstick. But realize that when the shine is over, the moisture is over as well. I'm willing to live with the payoff. All I have to do is just reapply, which is really basically it. All you have to do is reapply. But being my job. I can't do that, you know, every so often. And I'll have to say that the shine, like the dryness, let me just put it that way. The dryness starts to kick in after about 90 minutes or so. So it's really not that long. Like it doesn't stay shiny, shiny, juicy, shiny for very long, 90 minutes or so. That's really about maybe two hours if I'm pushing it, but 90 minutes at most. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if they still make these L'Oreal color juice sticks. You probably could find it on Amazon. Um, I think I found this one on Amazon, but this is, we're going, we're going back a ways. I just like the, I like the smell of it. It's got like a fruity smell and I like the shine. I like the color. I like the shine. So I'm willing to live with the payoff of the, you know, once the shine goes, the dry, the dryness starts to kick in. No biggie. I'm home now anyway. If it goes, it goes. And, and that's just that with that upon that. So that was my day. I was on the phone all day from 9 a.m. to about when that woman came in. I was forced to stop. I couldn't help it. It wasn't my fault. And I was talking to a co-worker, um, Mini Alpha. I was talking to her earlier in the afternoon, like after lunch. And I was telling her, yeah, I think I might be staying a little longer, you know, just to kind of put a dent into these phone calls. But after that, that one flew over the cuckoo's nest madness, I said, you know what? I, I need to book. I can't stay. I need to book. I need to book on out of here. So I will uh, commence with the phone calls tomorrow again at 9 o'clock and see how far I can go. I detest. Do you understand what I'm saying? I detest. What is he doing? Oh, Lord. He is doing his business, if you know what I mean. I detest making these phone calls. I detest it with every fiber of my being. I hate making phone calls. I'm a receptionist. I receive the phone calls. But for like, what is it, almost two months now? Um, she's got these projects where people have to make phone calls. And then you don't give us a leeway. You don't give us a time frame. It's a time frame is a day or two. It's due in two days. It's due in a day. It's due. What do you want these people to do? Just stop what they're doing, come to the office, do what you want them to do, and then leave? Look, I just do what I'm told, okay? I say what I'm supposed to say. I do what I'm told. But it doesn't surprise me when I get, you know, when I get pushback from these people like, well, how long did you know about this? Why didn't you call earlier? I, these are questions I can't answer, okay? I, I'm just doing what I'm told, and this is what I tell them. I cannot answer that for you. I'm, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but so leaving the project at the, you know, at the 11th hour, isn't really the smartest thing to do, but apparently it's done. And for me, it's really difficult because I'm the receptionist. I have to deal with people from the time I walk in to the time I leave. And you want me to make phone calls while I take phone calls, while I deal with people. Giving them this, that, the other, I need this, I want that, I want. 
but you want these phone calls made. And you claim that there's downtime. I don't know where, where the downtime is. I really don't. I honest to God, I, I honestly really don't know where the downtime is. If you're talking about during the lunch hour or the lunch couple of hours, it's downtime for the co coordinators maybe. But that doesn't mean that the phone stopped ringing. And I had to go to the bank again today, put gas in the Jeep, come back and I had to eat my lunch at my desk again. And these these aides, they do not give a rat's ass that you've got food in your mouth, that you're in the middle of eating. They're not apologetic for nothing. They're not, excuse me, but um, I don't mean to interrupt your eating, but I really need to. No, no. Come to the desk. Um, I want some such and such. I want so and so. And could you give me two of those? Meanwhile, I'm trying to chew my food and trying to, you know. They couldn't give a rat's ass. Okay. They're here to do a job. I'm the one that supplies the materials for the job. I need to just shut up and just give them what they want. I tell you people. I really don't even know what to say anymore. I just, I don't know what to say anymore because I'm beginning to realize that in this particular branch, rudeness just comes with the territory. It just, it's, it just is. You just have to know that you will be dealing with rude ass people, ignorant, rude ass people. They don't give a, they don't give a shit about you meaning me, they, they are just there to get from me what they want and keep it pushing. I'm not supposed to have feelings, forget manners. I don't even think they know how to spell the word. Some of them don't speak English at all, but I'm supposed to understand what they want. It's, it's, I'm sorry, people, I did, you know. That's all I can say. That's really all I can say. I really don't know what else to say. So that is it. That is all. This damn project will commence tomorrow morning. And I hope, I hope this woman, you know, God be with her. I hope she doesn't come back into the office because I can't, I can't deal with two days in a row of that. That's one of those women that you do not make any sudden moves because you don't know where. If her hands are going to be flying, you don't, you, you just don't know. I mean, she came in hyper just a little you know borderline crazy cuckoo and when i realized oh this is the situation i'm in okay i'm not gonna be in this by myself people i need to drag my um supervisor in it oh but she's she she she's not gonna be dragged for nothing she'll get her cutesy little miss prissy to deal with the situation And that is just that, with that, upon that. All right, people. Three down. Two more to go. I may be working a little bit late tomorrow, depending on how much of a dent I make on this project, because it has to be finished. I don't know if she wants it finished by tomorrow. I'm thinking she wants it finished by Friday. So I'm going to uh, press on. She didn't ask me how far I got today. But here's the thing. And this, this turned my stomach to the nth degree. Because before, when I would call and there would be no answer or the machine would go on, 
I would just make a notation, you know, the machine is on and what time and, and the date. Now, she she tells me that, well, most likely they're at work. All you have to do is call them at work. What is that going to accomplish exactly? Because you want them to fill out a, 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 a particular form. Or do you expect them to leave their job, come to the office, fill out the form, and then go back to work? These are aides that deal with patients. I don't understand what the point is. You want me to borderline harass them at work? To kind of scare them into realizing, oh, well, this was the such and such form that was supposed to be mailed back to us and we don't have your form and it's due at such and such a time. What do you want them to do? Why am I calling them at work? Like, it makes no sense. So when she said that, I was like, oh, I have to call them. I didn't say it, but I'm thinking to myself, you want me to call these people at work and harass them there? I guess whatever this is, this whole situation, I guess it's rather important, but if it were so important, why do you wait until the 11th hour? I'm sure that this could have been done a hell of a lot earlier where these people could have come to the office and given me whatever they need to give me so I could give them to you. And now what? I'm just here to follow directions. That's all I'm here to do. I'm here to follow orders. That is it. That is all. Take it from there. <sighs> okay, people. That's it. That's all. This is Lips of the Day. That was my day. And I am going to max and relax now. I placed, did I place the order for the remotes? Yeah, I think I did. I placed the order for the remotes. I think they're coming tomorrow. So I pray to Jesus that I'm doing the right thing and the remotes are going to work. Because they, they do go with the cable account that I, you know. Let's just hope everything works out. Because me having to stand up and change manually, plus I can't DVR what I want to DVR. Like I'm missing all kinds of programs. I'm watching what I really want to watch, but th sometimes there are shows that while I'm watching, I, I'm DVRing some other stuff. Oh, forget about it. So yeah, that's my life right now. The remote just decided to up and die. So now I have to get another remote. I bought two remotes just in case one of them isn't exactly what I needed. Then there's the other one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, A, they come tomorrow. And, and, and B, they'll just do what they're supposed to do. That's really all I ask. Okay, so that is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything, and I will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Like I said, I may have to stay a little later, depending on, you know, what time I leave. I don't know if you'll be able to see me or not. If you see me, you see me. If you don't, you don't. That's a whole Thursday and Friday situation. So don't blame me, people. Because it's bad enough that I already work late on Fridays. But tomorrow I'm going to have to work late again if I don't finish this project. Which, judging by the amount that I have left, I really don't think I'm going to get it all done tomorrow. I pressed on as much as I could. But, like I said, the only way I could get 
done completely with this project is if I was put in an office by myself, no interruptions, just constantly making these phone calls, not having to answer any any of the calls, not having to deal with people coming at me at my desk. That's the only way I could get this, this project done. So I'm not going to kill myself. I'm just going to do the best I can. Wherever it stops, it stops. And hopefully, supervisor won't be, you know, a bitch about it and come to an understanding because I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be talked down to. I don't want to, mm. no, thank you. Okay. All right. So that is it. That is all. Oh, before we go. I just need to put a little cherry on top of the whole supervisor thing. There was a gentleman that came in the office. And the way his attitude was, you would have thought he was like a vice president of something. So he came to speak with a coworker who's in like who's like a superior. Not an executive, but he's a superior. He came into the office. Do you have an appointment? Well, so-and-so told me to come in between such and such and such and such. And it is such and such and such and such now. So already I know I'm dealing with, okay, this dude thinks he's all that and shit. And his shit don't stink. So I said, okay. Um, so I called the person. The person didn't answer. I said, well, did he tell you that this was the office that he needed to needed you to come and see well I just called and he said to come and see him what time was this well it was between such and such and so and so I said I'm calling him and he's not picking up are you sure it's this office that he asked you to come to see he goes let me see if so and so calls you and tells you that to come and meet them at such and such. What do you think that means? I said, let me get somebody to help you. This is this is me every single day, people. Just kind of holding my tongue. Or else I will be arrested for what I really want to do to these people. So I got all the information. I got everything. I said, well, he said he, he was supposed to meet you at such and such a time and you were supposed to meet him where and what is this regarded? I got everything. So I said, let me call my supervisor, see if she knows anything. So I called my supervisor while he was sitting there and I gave her the rundown of the situation. Here she comes with well, what is it about? And I had all my notes in front of me. I said, it's about such such a so-and-so. Well, what time was it? I said, he said, so-and-so said to meet him here at such and such a time. I was rat tat tatting the answers because I am I know her now. I know exactly. Well, not exactly because sometimes she will throw a curve. But for this particular situation, I was giving her the business. And she said, oh, okay, Um, let me get back to you. I said, oh, okay. Five minutes later, here she comes at the door. Mr. So-and-so, could you come into my office, please? That's right, bitch. You talk to him. Because instead of you questioning me what this is all about, I can only give you what they give me. And if they don't want to give me any more, why are you asking me to extract more information? They want to talk to you. What else do you want from me? But this is what I have to deal with every single time she gets a call. So before I, tra I transfer the call to her, I have to put the call on hold. No, I have to talk to the person, extract as much information from the conversation that she wants to have with my supervisor, put the person on hold, call my supervisor, tell her, 
I have such and such on the phone. She wants to talk to you about A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, and Y, and Z. Oh, okay. Well, you can transfer them over. Oh, okay. Because the next would have been going into numbers. So I have to extract as much information. And sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not so much. It's almost like I have to have the conversation that this person wants to have the conversation with my supervisor, but I have to have the conversation first. And then when I think, okay, that's enough of the conversation, I have to put the person on hold. Then I have to take that conversation and repeat the conversation to my supervisor. And then she'll decide whether she wants to take the call or not. It's time to go, people. It's time to go. There are never enough hours in the evening. Never enough. And then people wonder why I fall asleep on the sofa. Because my body can't take anymore. My body just can't take anymore. It just can't. It just collapses. It shuts down. And I lose half of what I'm watching because I fall asleep. Because I have to be alert and pretty much alert and tense from the time I walk into this place to the time I leave. All right. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you when I talk to you. I can't say I'm going to be talking to you tomorrow because I don't know. I can't say I'm going to be talking to you on Friday because I don't know. So when I talk to you, I talk to you. Hopefully, it'll be very, very soon. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.